<sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. I still use junk on eBay. Today is a Monday morning. Yeah, Monday. We got six, around 60 orders going out. Um, I think there's 56 orders on eBay, two on TrueGather, but then some of the eBay orders have more than one item. Some have several items. So, right around 60 items going out. Um, really good weekend sales. Very, very happy with everything that is selling right now. So machine parts are completely on fire. They're going great. And then, yeah, just selling a little bit of everything. Books, media are selling great. Um, do have some stuff at home that sold. I'm going to pop that up on the screen right now before I forget. I got several 78s, sold a whole bunch of them. We got a carburetor that went out. There's one sewing machine foot pedal. It was a return. The buyer just bought the wrong one. So that was no big deal. Seems like there was something else. If there is, I'll put it up on the screen. But that's a lot of the stuff we have at home. We're at the storage unit. Um, I pulled orders a little bit differently today. Instead of pulling them from the app, I went actually on my web browser on my phone and then sorted all my need to be shipped items by custom SKU. And that helps things go way faster. I really should do that all the time. I typically only do that when I have a ton of orders going out and I'm a little overwhelmed. Not overwhelmed, I'm not overwhelmed this morning, but I'm a little, I'm wanting to get things done fast. How about that? Um, but yeah, let's see, kids are all sick today. Got strep going around the house, so that's a lot of fun. Yeah, my wife is at home right now with them, so pray for all of them. Um, I'm gonna make it back there pretty soon. We need to take two of the others to the doctor, get them some antibiotics. Already got some for one, the one that got sick first. Now the other two are sick. Probably should have just taken them all in. <laughs> but anyways, um, so the plan for today is number one. I'm going to try not to get too terribly much done today so I can help out at home a little bit. But what I am going to work on is I'm going to work on going through some totes of just random stuff I have. Not necessarily my media or my sewing machines or anything else. Just my random stuff and start getting it photographed. I'm trying to clear some space in the shed because hopefully at the end of this week I'm going to go pick up a trailer load of stuff for my uncle. Assuming everybody gets better. That's the only issue we got right now. Um, so what I've done in preparation for that is I actually took three totes down from the other unit. I went and combined them. I think it was like D, one, three, and four. I combined all those into one tote. All three fit into one. And then two other totes I managed to combine. So I actually got three empty totes now. So I'm going to refill those up, put a brand new skew on that tote, and then basically take it in. So what I did, ah, if you're new to the channel, Every five minutes, we walk over here, we trip the light sensor, and hopefully you subscribe while we're doing that, because that's what that time's for. Um, so what I did was, on the front of the totes, this one says E4, if I combined it with another one, I just wrote 4 comma 5. Something I've never done before, I've always been topping off my totes instead of combining them as they sold down, but I think I'm going to like this a lot better. Because then I don't have to, like, skew the stuff while I'm here at the storage unit. I can just do it all when I'm listing, and... There's a lot less room for errors there. Because whenever, so like I'll list a whole tote of stuff all at once. And then once I'm done with that tote, I'll go in and double check the custom SKUs on everything. And that way I don't accidentally miss a custom SKU. Because that's one of the worst mistakes you can make, honestly. Missing a custom SKU and not knowing where your stuff is. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what's sold. We're going to be working on random stuff the next few days. So if you're interested in anything, check out in the store. Link is down in the description. If you need to buy anything on eBay or Amazon, you click on that link, I will get a little bit of a kickback, and that helps out the channel. So if you want to support the channel, click on those links. I got one to my eBay store, and got some links to Amazon stuff. That would be helpful, because I want to keep making this content. Anyways, let's show you guys what's sold. <sighs> Alright, so let's start down here on the floor. First off, we do have one Harley motorcycle seat going out. Shipping these really isn't that bad. Um going to take two small Lowe's boxes and just kind of put them together and it'll go in it just fine. You don't really have to worry about these getting damaged too bad as long as they're not ripped or anything like that. Honestly, you could just throw a lot of bubble wrap on this, stick it in a giant poly bag and it would be fine because it's not going to get crushed. They're made to sit on. What could happen though is it could get like punctured if something sharp hit it and that's what you need to be protecting it from. But I'm going to put it in two small Lowe's boxes, put some one layer of bubble wrap and a whole bunch of packing paper. Really not so bad on these. Next we do have one KitchenAid meat grinder. I probably should have just kept this, but we got a full countertop size meat grinder. Got that thrown in at a garage sale this summer. 
Oh, a little bit of value. I honestly thought those would be worth more. Kind of surprised they weren't worth that much. Two records going out from the last big record haul. We got Rod Stewart's Greatest Hits and Super Tramp. Both of those CDs are completely worthless, but the records are worth selling. Oh, let's just start over here. We got One Knife, Old Hickory, and then we got this. This clock is not working, unfortunately. I'm sure, it just needs a new battery. Uh, I can't open this one handed. Press the button and it comes up. There's a clock in there, kind of like nautical style. It'll like flip up. Pretty cool looking thing. Got some CDs up here. A couple of these have been listed a while, like this one, Merry Mountain Christmas. I noticed a lot of Christmas CDs selling lately. And then the next one is Messianic Worship in Israel. I mentioned before, this type of music usually does pretty good. Jewish Hebrew type stuff. Do really good with that. Um, one sewing machine motor that sold on True Gather. The other True Gather cell was that motorcycle seat. So both of these are my True Gather cells. Let's stick those together. This knife, a buyer bought this and this sewing machine part. I'm not gonna try and open this up because I got it sealed shut, but it's like a decorative knife, nothing too fancy. And a sewing machine part. Somebody needed both of these items from my store. They checked out in one transaction, so that was kind of cool. Who knows? Kind of strange. One cassette, the Shangri-Las. Really want to find a bunch of cassettes. I don't have enough listed in the store, I feel like. Here are three buffaloes. I think we've got like $6 for this real photo postcard. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I picked up three copies of this because I wanted a copy for me and my daughter to play. So I picked up three copies when they were brand new. These The prices on these have risen quite a bit. I think I got $112 plus shipping. Got one more for sale. We kept one to play. And this is the first one that sold. So that was kind of the plan is buy three, sell two to make enough money to pay for the one we kept. Honestly, the one we kept though, I could just sell the cartridge now and get enough money. I've got the case. We don't really use the cases. Maybe I should sell off the empty case too. Hmm, something to think about. Two bearings, Timekin. Not a lot of money here. Luckily, they bought both of them. I should have listened together. I had it listed as multi-quantity, and luckily, they did buy both. In the future, I would just list them together. What do we got up here? CD, Magic and Mystery Kite Flying Robot. Anytime you got CDs in weird cases, look them up. It's something special. Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. Pretty much always list these, get a little bit of money. Not a ton. This next book, I actually sold another copy of it earlier in the year, The Hidden Dangers of the Rainbow, New Age Movement, and Our Coming Age of Barbarism. It's like 70s, 80s type book. One Bible. Do you sell Bibles? What do you think about selling Bibles? Is that good or bad? I like to sell them. I like to give them in the hands of people that like them, that want them. This one's actually in fairly decent shape. New King James Version, Bonded Leather, Slimline. Really good. And then we do have a hymnal, Messenger Melodies. And last but not least, I usually don't look up kind of like this age of kids' books, but this one just looked different. Glad I looked this one up. Got $20 for the noodle head, whatever that word is. $20 on that little kids' book right there. So great. Clothing. We got some thermals, extra large. These are kind of yellowed because the package is torn inside a little bit. They are vintage from Kmart. So got seven or eight dollars. That was probably loud when I threw that down there. This is like a vintage Florida sweatshirt. Florida and sweatshirts usually don't go together, but that one did. Kids, vintage Levi's jeans. Got like the black acid wash. This is a brand of jeans I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I find them fairly often, they do okay. It's vintage Bugle Boy jeans. Usually do okay with them. I think we got like around $20 for that. And then the last piece of clothing we've got up here. So this is a pull Ralph Lauren. If I remember correctly, this is a linen blend, which helped it out quite a bit. Not all pull, polo Ralph, Ralph, bleh. not all polo Ralph Lauren is created equal by any means. We got this part off of a genome. And then this part right here is off the same machine, but these are going to separate buyers. That was a really good machine. Let's see what else we got. The next are these three parts. One, two, 
three. These are all off the same machine, go into the same buyer. They sent me offers of $10 a piece. I was like, absolutely. $30, that's what I had into that machine. So we're doing great. Another little part, sewing machine parts are doing great. A little spool holder. And a little needle throat plate, look at that. Last but not least in this unit, we got two CDs. Flip Night, Bedtime Tribute. I don't know, looks like some sort of local thing. And then last but not least, we got Songs from Afghanistan by the Afghanistan Ensemble. That is everything in this unit. We're gonna go down to the other one and see what's down there. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this stuff in the totes today. Don't have to use an Ikea bag that way. And we'll go down there. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I pulled everything from this unit, I believe now. Let's start on the floor. We got four of my record lots. I only had a quantity of four left on the listing, but there were six here. So I redid that listing, put up a quantity of two. Somehow the quantity got off, but which is not really that big of a surprise because this listing's been up probably two to three years. But we got four of them sold to also the same buyer. So that's great. Also got relisted with a quantity of two. Great to see those going. One comic lot, Fantastic Force has been listed a very long time. Very happy to see it go. Got this Olympus manual. I had two of these listed. One of them somehow didn't have a skew. So I went and actually pulled the other one and it's got an extra booklet with them. I'm just gonna send them both of these. It's in basically the same condition as the other one I can't find. So hopefully that works out. I think it should though. One DVD stretching by Bob Anderson. This is a Hard Rock Cafe shirt, I believe. And it is new with tags, got like $12 for it. Nothing crazy. And here is a Napa Valley like floral skirt. Don't sell a lot of skirts, so pretty cool to see. Let's see what else. Sewing machine part. Just those little arms that like hold in the shuttle hook. All right, so let's go through these CDs. We got quite a few. Some of these are pretty good. Indalia Mini World. I think like $20, $30 on that one. Put it over there. Don Gibson. I had this list for $100. Accepted an offer at $86. Lazy Lester. I don't even want to. Try and say probably 10 or 15 bucks. T A T Y. I think we got around 20 bucks for that one. There were some good CDs today. RL Burnside. Don't remember what it was. And then this last one. I find this artist. I have sold a lot of this artist stuff. Khaled. I'm pretty sure it's like Bollywood type stuff. Not a lot of money. Probably like five, six, seven dollars, but it's been a really good seller. It sells really consistently his stuff. We got one lot of this bait going out. Fish extract attractant. Somebody said they wanted to try it out. Asked me if I'd make them a great offer. And so we did. I think we sold all this right here for $7 plus shipping. I am going to make a little bit of money on the shipping. Honestly, I probably got like a dollar into this much of it here. So no big deal. Plus, once I sell out the whole thing, then I got a box that I can ship something in. So that's what we got going out right now. For that, I don't know. There's a whole bunch more of this I could buy, but I don't think I want to. It's selling slow right now, but I don't think it's really the right season for it either. I don't know. We got one little vintage lapel pin. This thing's unmarked. This thing's pretty heavy. Just a little candy cane and a J with a bow on it, some holly. Pretty cool. That type of stuff selling right now. One knife. This is, I believe, Schofield. This thing only ended up going for $50. That price, I probably should just kept it. I like this knife. Yeah, Schofield. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Made in England. But not Schofield. This is Johnson. Johnson something. Maybe Schofield was a word. I don't remember. I guess it's Johnson. How did my head Schofield? Maybe it's both. Who knows? I'll put it up on the screen. $50 though. I really like that knife. One Q&A book. This is like... I think my wife actually got this for Christmas or something and decided not to want it. It's got like several years on here. It tells you something to do. And then you draw it. It's a journal. And I think that is it for this storage unit. That is everything we got. We did have a bunch of stuff at home that I put up on the screen earlier. More sewing machine parts. 
quite a bit of 78s, some car parts, a carburetor, exhaust manifold, all that good stuff. We do have some extra room in this unit up here right now. That's where we're gonna be putting a bunch of hats as I'm listing hats. Got room for two totes over here, a tote on another shelf. So I'm very happy. We got a lot of room in the top stock actually. A lot of stuff we could put up here and move stuff around. So pretty excited that we're gonna have room. This whole box is gonna go in January. That was a very bad purchase. Well, I think I only paid like $5 for that box. But made no money out of it. So yeah. Oh well. Lots of room in top stock. Need to find some multi-quality stuff to stick up there. That's usually what we put up there. And hats because they're so stinking light. <sighs> what do you guys store in your top stock? Up higher where you don't want to store books or CDs or heavy stuff. What do you guys store up there? Let me know. For me, it's usually multi-quantity stuff, big stuff, or my hats, which are super light. Anyways. Um, that is it for the day. We're just going to end here, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.